This is an RPG-7. RPG stands for Rocket Propelled Grenade. The RPG-7 is an old type of RPG. It is a reusable, unguided, shoulder-launched anti-tank RPG which was designed by the Soviet Union. Currently, around 40 countries use this weapon. It is a deadly weapon and has a penetration of about 20 inches in normal armor. This weapon can hit the target up to 50 meters with 100% accuracy and at the range of 200 meters, the chances of hitting the target reduces to 50%. So the question is, are these RPGs able to destroy a modern tank or not? Nowadays, tanks are getting advanced and their protection systems are getting better. The modern tanks have reactive armor. Reactive armor is a type of vehicle armor that reacts in a way to the impact of the weapon to reduce the damage done to the vehicle. It is most effective in protecting against shaped charges and especially hardened kinetic energy penetrators. Essentially, all anti-tank ammunitions work by piercing the armor and killing the crew inside, disabling the vital mechanical systems or both. Reactive armor can be defeated with multiple hits in the same place as by tandem charged weapons which fire two or more shaped charges in rapid succession. Without tandem charges, hitting the same spot twice is much more difficult. So because of these type of armor, the RPG-7 cannot penetrate a modern tank but it can surely damage it and if hit in the right spot can make it immobile. There is another type of rocket which is called RPG-29 which was adopted by the Soviet Army in 1989. The RPG-29's PG-29V tandem-charged warhead is one of the few anti-tank weapons that can penetrate the frontal hulls of Western composite armored main battle tanks. An RPG-29 round was reported in August 2006 to have penetrated the frontal explosive reactive armor of a Challenger 2 tank during an engagement in Al Amara, Iraq. On August 25, 2007, a PG-29B hit a passing M1 Abrams in the rear hull, wounding three crew members. On September 5, 2007, a PG-29V hit the side turret of an M1 Abrams in Baghdad, killing two of the crew members and wounding one, and the tank was seriously damaged. This shows that the PG-29V can seriously damage a modern tank, but on the other hand, the old version RPG-7 cannot cause much damage to modern tanks. That's all for today's video. Like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.